Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. September 26, 2020, the Caremark and Boeing edition. And we start with that story from the Wall Street Journal. Shareholders have sued Boeing's board, accusing it of failing to properly oversee management's responses to two fatal 737 MAX crashes and the plane safety problems in a shareholder lawsuit. The suit filed in Delaware claims former CEO Dennis Muhlenberg misled what the planners portray as a largely passive board, directors who were allegedly preoccupied with negative news stories, failing to press management over specific MAX engineering problems, and skipped meetings focused on safety according to the 142-page lawsuit. The lawsuit um, offers a rare boardroom glimpse into um, the MAX crisis, which has cost Boeing millions. It's going to be interesting to see if they'll uh, sustain a, or at least pass muster in Delaware to get to a Caremark claim, but uh, these claims are becoming more ubiquitous against uh, boards, and boards really are going to have to step up their game. Which leads us to our second story, another shareholder lawsuit against a board, this time over Alphabet, by Alphabet shareholders, Google's parent company, which has uh, had a series of uh, shareholder, settled a series of shareholder suits. But this um, this settlement said that the company would no longer force employees to settle disputes in private arbitration and that uh, they would not uh, prevent employees from bringing the information forward. The company was hit with a wave of shareholder lawsuits after the New York Times reported that the board of directors had approved a $90 million exit package for a star executive even after an investigation had deemed a sexual harassment claim against him credible. Um, obviously a huge misstep by the Boeing, excuse me, the Alphabet board. But Alphabet at least finally settles this uh, and hopefully will move forward. Um, over at the SEC, a um, whistleblower was awarded $1.8 million, uh, who helped uh, the SEC um, with conduct about Orthofix International. The regulator announced the award Friday. Um, it was connected to a, a bribery and corruption and FCPA settlement involving the Texas-based company. The tipster, a Brazilian doctor, provided information to the SEC about alleged kickback scheme operated by Orthofix in Brazil. The company self-reported to the SEC about these matters and cooperated fully and paid a $14 million settlement. So uh, good to see that the whistleblower program is still working and uh, a rare FCPA matter. And finally, I'm shocked, just shocked, to find that publicly traded companies took PPP loans um, that were supposed to be paid to employees and paid dividends and bought their own stock back. Hard to believe that U.S. companies would engage in fraud and illegal conduct, particularly around monies sent out by the government designed to help employees, but here we are. So um, another round of fraud uh, in the PPP program. It's going to be interesting to see what the Department of Justice will do if they'll actually go after these companies who um, not only misled the government but misused these funds. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see if there's a new administration, how aggressive they are. Of course, under the Trump administration, uh, who knows what fraud will bring. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.